meal prepping. Woo! Woo! Meal prepping. <laughs> okay, so we have a bunch of recipes for today. We're gonna show you how to cook everything and then package it all at the end. So, yeah, I know. We got so we much have stuff here. We literally have everything. So you guys are gonna really like the meals today. They're pretty, uh, they're pretty versatile. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna cook anything. Like, no one who's gonna be watching this is going super hard on their prep. Like, they're not gonna be competing, so we don't have to really you know, take out all of the salt, and people like salt, so we'll have a little bit of salt, but mostly none. Um, we're gonna cook really clean. We're just gonna have a nice, clean, everyday diet that we can, you know, really enjoy and not, you know, dread eating throughout the day, so. And all of this stuff we actually just bought from Publix, so none of it's like organic or like $15 each or anything like that. So this is all food that you can either buy, like, pre-chopped or- Yeah, you can buy pre-chopped pre vegetables, which pre is, we you know, size. no one likes to chop an onion. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some pre chopped stuff already. We have um, some chicken that I actually bought. I actually recommend buying your chicken at places like BJ's or Costco. You can get more for your dollar there. Um, I got 12 chicken breasts individually wrapped for like 20 bucks, which is actually really good if you're not familiar with shopping and prices. So it's pretty actually good. pretty good. It's cheap. Um, so we have all of the basics. We have salt, pepper, olive oil, you know, stuff that you have in your pantry already, as well as all of the basics that we're going to be cooking with. So it's gonna be really good. I'm excited. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? All right, we're gonna start breaking everything down. And here we go. Okay, let's do this. Woo! So the first thing we're gonna do is marinate the chicken, obviously because it takes the longest. So be very careful. Don't touch it with your hands. Grab a fork, put the raw chicken in a Ziploc bag. It's the simplest and cleanest way to do it. Go ahead and put your marinade, enough to cover the chicken, and just swish it around. We're gonna toss it in the fridge. Now the Mrs. Dash marinades are so good, you guys. Seriously, there's no salt, they're really clean, and they're so freaking delicious, it's not even funny. So just go ahead and cover it up, put it in the Ziploc bag, and toss it in the fridge. Now to let you guys know, we do have all of the recipes and a shopping list ready to go from our, for you guys on our blog, so just go ahead and print it down below. Our next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start the eggs for our egg sandwiches, for our breakfast sandwiches in the morning. So go ahead and preheat the oven first to 350 degrees, get a jumbo muffin tin, this is a jumbo muffin tin I just picked up in Publix, and just crack an egg in each one, and make sure you grease the pan beforehand. So in each of the little tins, just go ahead and put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of salt, people, not too much. And go ahead and just pop it in the oven, and it's gonna take about 25 to 30 minutes to set, so just go ahead and set your timer, and you're good to go. Next, we're gonna start preparing our meatloaf. Now, it's very important that you put the things that are gonna take the longest in the oven in first so you can multitask and work on the cold stuff while that's in the oven. So, what I'm doing here, I'm preparing the meatloaf. It's just um, about a pound, pound to 1.2 pounds of turkey meat, really lean, some ketchup, some onions, the exact ratios are in the printout below. So these are just some breadcrumbs. Super delicious, really, really easy. A Little bit of garlic powder, and you're just gonna put another egg in there. So make sure when you're at the supermarket, you get about a dozen eggs, and a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and you're just gonna mix it all, make sure all the ingredients are incorporated, and then you're gonna get a, like a loaf pan. So you're just gonna grease it really fast, put the mixture in and just go ahead and spread it out until it's all even. Now you're gonna make a separate glaze to put over the top. So the nice, it's gonna be nice and like a really, I don't know, I don't know how to say it, like a really nice glaze on the top. So just take a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of Worcestershire, I can't say that, Worcestershire sauce, whatever, you know. And just gonna mix it together and just spread it over the top so it's gonna get a nice finish when it cooks, a nice little golden brown crust on the top. So just pop that in, same temperature, 350 for about an hour. So now we're gonna move on to the cold things. So we're gonna make a nice corn salsa with some black beans. So just one can of low sodium corn, one can of low sodium beans. You're gonna go ahead and put some chopped red onion. I got that pre-chopped at Publix, thank God, it's so easy. Um, about a juice of a lime. Now I went ahead and when I finished this, I put the other lime in there as well because I needed that lime zest and flavor in there. So I'm gonna put both limes in there. Chop up some fresh cilantro and you're just gonna throw that in. It's gonna have a really nice color uh, with the yellow and the red and well, purple, That's, I don't know why they call it red onion. But go ahead and just mix it all together and a little bit of salt and pepper again, just very, very little amounts of salt we're cooking with here. And it's super simple. I'm just gonna pop that in the fridge. 
And next we're gonna go into our Greek salad. So we're gonna go ahead and just chop a cucumber. If you're wondering where I got these knives, I actually got them on Amazon. Um, they're Top Chef knives, but they're only like $20 for the whole set and they're so cute and really, really sharp. I was impressed with the quality when I got them. So I definitely recommend you checking those out if you're in you know, the market for a new pair of knives or set of knives. So just go ahead and chop up the cucumber and just gonna put that in a large mixing bowl. Now, I'm not really a fan of tomatoes, but I like cherry tomatoes in a salad, I'm assuming because I'm very visual and I like the color. I usually end up not eating them, but you might like tomatoes, so go ahead and throw them in there. Uh, they're pretty much essential in any salad, so it looks really nice, <laughs> whatever. So go ahead and put some red onion in, his, in there as well, and I love, love black olives. Now, people have a love-hate relationship with olives, so you can leave these out if you don't, but they give it that really nice salty bite, so Go ahead and chop up a few of those. And then the best part ever, is it coming? Yeah, feta cheese, people. Feta makes everything better. <laughs> so just pop in a little bit of feta, about a quarter cup, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, you know the drill, and just mix it all together. And for a dressing, I honestly just like a squeeze of lemon juice. It's nice and fresh. Now, by this time, your eggs should be done cooling. So what we're gonna do is just open up the package of Canadian bacon. I'm gonna set them all out and I'm gonna set my George Foreman grill on the side here. I'm gonna grease it, set it to about a medium temperature and just grill the slices just to warm them up. So when we assemble the breakfast sandwiches, they're all nice and ready to eat. And then we could just package them up and put them in the fridge or in the freezer if you'd like. So once those are nice and warmed up, you could even toast the tops and the bottoms of the buns if you like, but you should just be able to slide the eggs right out onto the little muffins there. Isn't that cute? So then you're just gonna put one of these slices of Canadian bacon on top and then you're gonna put a cheese that you like. I like the Sargento really thin sliced cheddar cheese. Only about 45 calories a slice, which is really, really good. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I asked Stephanie to pass them to me. So I just put a layer of that on the top. Thank you, Stephanie, for your awesome assistance. And then we're gonna go ahead and just pop the tops on them when we're done doing that. Boop. Okay, all done. So then we're just gonna package them away with about a cup of a fruit mixture and we will go back to that. Now we're gonna go back to the oven and just pop in our green beans, honestly, because I didn't have a stove top to work with, so I'm just putting these in the oven. Little bit of garlic powder, some pepper, a drizzle of olive oil to give it that nice flavor. Um, and I'm just gonna pop it in the oven, the same temperature, 350. 350 is pretty much the standard baking temperature. So now we are gonna go do some snackages. So these containers you guys got from the Dollar Tree, they were a dollar, so good. Oh, I love the Dollar Tree, who doesn't? So go ahead and just fill up one of the compartments with apples. You can get red, you can get green. I prefer green, I like the sour taste to it. Um, and it's really convenient because when they're pre-sliced like this, they don't tend to brown as if you were cutting them fresh. So go ahead and fill up the other compartments. I would honestly, I didn't have any cubed cheese on hand, but maybe like cut up a 50 calorie mozzarella stick and, and shove that in there, that's good. And then some almonds. These are honey roasted almonds. They taste like a churro. I was so impressed and I'm addicted. So definitely recommend those as well. Now we're gonna start the process of grilling our chicken. This is one of the last steps that you guys are gonna need to do. I spilled some sauce, I'm sorry. So go ahead and just use a fork. Don't use your fingers. We, we don't want the bacteria on all our stuff. Be careful what you come in contact with, with the raw meat. Wash everything when you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grill these up on my grill. This George Foreman grill saves my life. Honestly, I can take it into the apartment. I can take it anywhere. It's really nice. So this 90 second brown rice is also really good. Super convenient. Saves a lot of time. Usually rice takes about 40 minutes. So. It's really nice that they do make these pre-packaged and ready to go. So I'm putting about half a cup of rice in each one of these containers. And then I'm going to use some of the green beans that we just cooked. And then I'm going to dice up the meatloaf. Uh, you can get about four slices out of these servings here. So just go ahead and gently pick it up and separate it into the containers. And the same with the chicken. Once the chicken's cooled, just go ahead and dice it up, package it with some green beans. This gives you two options for a dinner meal, which is nice, because a lot of people, when they meal prep, they eat the same thing every day, and it's nice to have a little variety, and it's very easy to do. So go ahead and just slice up the chicken. This is me 
slicing chicken. <laughs> So make sure it's cooled before you start doing all this stuff. You can see the steam coming up because I'm just impatient, but it's better to put everything in the packages when they're cooled. So this is for the salads throughout the day. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bed of lettuce for the corn salsa and the Greek salad that we prepared earlier that we just popped in the fridge. So that's been sitting there very nicely. This, this is so good. You can honestly make like a chipotle um, kind of do over bowl that's a little cleaner and you could control the amounts. This honestly tastes like a chipotle salad. And then the Greek salad is also very delicious. So just go ahead and just spoon a couple spoonfuls of that over the beautiful bed of lettuce. Get your greens in. And then you're just gonna go ahead and take the chicken and you know, evenly set it across the land into the different containers. So yes, putting the chicken into the containers and then we are almost done guys. So with these breakfast sandwiches, what I'm gonna do, I found that it actually tastes better if you wrap the breakfast sandwiches in some saran wrap, just kind of separate the flavors of the fruit because when the days go by, the, the flavors tend to mix together, not mix, you know what I mean. So. <laughs> just go ahead and wrap the egg sandwiches in plastic wrap before you put it in here But just a nice little set of fruit on the side perfect breakfast look how well balanced that is and that looks delicious And it is because I ate all this stuff for real I didn't just make it for you guys and then not eat it I've been eating it all week so very good and you're done good job you guys so hopefully this was helpful to you. I'm, it, you see all these pins on Pinterest, people meal prepping and you think it takes hours. It really didn't. It only took us about an hour and an hour and a half. Um, the longest thing is putting the things in the oven and just cooking the chicken, letting it sit and marinate. But if you marinate the chicken the night before, you're gonna save yourself a lot of time the next day. So